This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone. Welcome to this another video in Market Talk YouTube channel. So today we will see how to download FNO participant open interest data for the entire one year or more than that also in less than one minute. Because if you see here the FNO participant OS open interest data, you can select for one day. Okay, you can just download here. This is a part archives. If you want to current uh, current data you want to download, just go to derivatives and then you can see here FNO participant wise open interest data. Okay, so this data you can download for one day. Okay, but in case you want to download for multiple days, then you have to go to archives and then you have to select the date and then select one by one data. Okay, this is the way how you have to do it uh, one by one date for almost like say 200 trading days, whatever in a year. It will take several hours for to do, but there is a way how we can do it. Even in the just to see the old website also, where you can see derivatives. If you go to all historical reports, participant raise open interest data. This is the interview report. Every day you have to go one by one and download. So there is no need for that. Instead, there is a way, a shortcut to get the entire data for one year in just single shot. Okay. Let me just show you how to do that. Now I have taken the dates here. Okay, for just I'm doing for one few days. After that, I will show for entire year how we can do it also. Okay. Now I just taken the list of dates, trading dates that you can get it anyway. That's not a problem, correct? Okay. Now what I done is I taken the link of that. So link how we can take it daily reports. Now I have seen the link here. If you want to see here, participant is open interest. This is a link here. Right click here, copy link address. Okay. There's the link you're taken here. I just copy here. Okay. Now this is the uh, link now we have to be a variable keep a variable here dates you have to change it like this no 9th october means 0 9 10 2 0 2 0 this is the way you wanted here so what i have done here i have taken the date trading date here and then i have done the text function using the taking the date separately then month separately then year separately so i just broken the date month and the year in the text format now i just concatenate the all the three function three variables date month and year so this text we got and now I had done the concatenate of this hyperlink and then this link of this text and then the dot CSV. So this way I got the hyperlink with the variable of the dates. Okay. Now I got like this. Now what is the next step? <clears throat> now we'll take one. Let me just take this one control C. Just control C. And what we do is just go to data. So for this purpose you need to have a uh, Power query actually. Okay, if you have a 2016, then you have to install as adding separately, or if you have 2019 onwards, it comes as a part of the uh, office itself. So there is no problem in that. Now, what we'll do from web, go to data from web. So the uh, the view what you see here and maybe in 2016 with different company different. So you have to understand that. So basic will get then control V tell okay. Now <clears throat> Once we get something like this, then transform data, click transform data. <coughs> so just follow the same steps as it is. There is no worth it, nothing to worry. Then what we'll do first row, we want to delete it. Okay, now what we'll do? Remove rows, remove top rows. One row, I want to delete it. Just till one. Okay. Now I want to convert the first row into heading. Use first row as headers. Click this. Now we got this. Now this is a text. Just you want to see whole number. Everything is whole number. So nothing to bother about that. If it's text, then you have to convert. Now this is a column. We don't want to have it. I want to delete this, remove columns. Now we got the data here. Now what we'll do, you just change the name of this file table as a, let us put, um, okay, we'll change later. What we'll do for timing, just advanced editor, go to advanced editor. Now here, what we'll do here, something we'll put here, so, oh, it's a function, okay. We'll put URL. Okay. Just type this no problem as it is as table, then equal to right arrow. Okay. Just you keep the same thing word as it is. Nothing to change, nothing to worry. And then the double quotes. What you are seeing double quotes, the link of the download file. Just select everything and type here URL. You automatically will get also the URL name because already defined as a variable. Then tap until now. You can see there is no syntax errors. Then tell done. Okay. Now you can see this is gone and it is showing us a URL optional. Okay. Invoke. Just nothing to do. Now what we lose here, 
I'll put a name here. This is a function. So I'll put FX participant. Okay. Just remember the name. FX participant is the name you are giving here. Okay. That's it. Now we'll close and load. This is the connection. Okay. So there is no data will come. It will show only connection only. Now I will just delete this. And then this table I want to convert into a uh, table. Whatever you are seeing here. I'll tell here go to data select here inside until from table range click. We will get something like this the table. Now I'll tell here. FNO. OI okay, so this is the name I'll give FNO OI this is the name I'm giving. Now what I'll do here. This is a date. I'll just change into date format. Date okay. Replace current okay. Then what I'll do add column add column. Custom column. Here, what I'll do here, FNO data. I'll tell here heading, and then here coming here, we given the name defined FX participant. Correct. When you type FX, you will get automatically tab. Then what you do in the bracket, open bracket, double click this URL till close the bracket. Okay. Now you can see no syntax. That's it. FNO data we are going to get now. Till OK. This is a one-time access only, and after that, just put the date, you'll get the link. That's it. Now you can get something like this: a sub table. If you click here, you can see the table here. Okay. Now don't do this, just delete this. Now, what we do? Expand here. Expand here. All the data are going to see, and you can see we use original column name as prefix. Uncheck this. Tell okay. We got the entire data. Now this hyperlink is no more required. I'll just go and delete these columns. Now for each and every date, I got this information. Now we got the data. Now what I'll do? File, close and load to. We'll tell here what we'll do in a new worksheet. Okay, table, new worksheet till okay. Okay, there is a problem. Let me just try to fix it. Uh, go to edit. So data we are getting here. There is no issues. Okay, no problem. Let me just try to convert to table. Okay, right click here load to table okay just uncheck this add this data to data model uncheck this then okay now we got in data all the data we got it here okay now this is for the first october data from first october i'll just here as a fno oi okay this is the name i given here the data now what i'll do here here the data is from first october till 12th october what i've done here i have taken the dates from first january till date okay Entire thing I have taken here the same logic only. I'll just what I'll do control C and add it here. Now let me just see whether I don't uh, messed up with the old one. Okay, I messed up. Okay, so now what we'll do control Z. Now what we'll do here? I'll cut and paste control X. Okay, now I cut everything. Okay, now what I'll do? I'll just here paste special values because this no more required. In case future you wanted, you can just do it again. No problem. Now what I will do here, the table is here now. Already the table is here. Now what I have to do, I have to just refresh here. Right click, refresh. Already the table is converted there. Now the entire data we are going to pull for all the dates starting from 1st January. So depending on your internet speed and your computer speed, the data is going to come out. Just see here. Let us see from which date is going to get. So we are getting 980 records. Let us sort the date wise. You can see from 1st January, we got the information, entire data. Now, if for example, if you want to get for next date, whatever the date is coming, let me just sort out by date. Now we are getting here the date. So tomorrow we are getting, you want some information, you just put the date and the formula. If you just put a formula here, the same thing will come here. There's nothing to worry. So this way you get the data. Now I want, uh, the information like net uh, data I want, net uh, future long I wanted the data. What I will do here, I just go and edit here, add one formula here. So you can see the data here. Now I want this minus this as net features. So what I will do here, add column, custom column. I'll tell here net futures. So come to here, this place, and futures long index minus futures index short. Okay, this is a formula I'll give here. That's it. Then file, close and load. Now we're getting all the data, including the net long also.
every time it is going and rectifying the data actually it is getting in, the, in case uh, nse tomorrow decides to change the link of that uh, file where it is stored then the file you may not be getting it so better you save this data somewhere else and keep it safely so that the tomorrow the link is changed you don't have any problem now we got this data here net futures we are getting information now what i'll do i'll put a uh, proper report i wanted okay now i'll tell insert pivot table so i'll make it in a new worksheet insert and then what I'll do is date wise I want date I'll put here and then what I'll do I'll put net futures long net futures I mentioned here similarly you can do for net futures also for uh, stock futures and everything you can mention so I here I have my month wise I, if you want I can keep it or I can ungroup this so that I'll get date wise since everything becomes zero because it is client wise now what I'll do here I'll put client tag in the top now getting the total grand total and all which i am not interested i just uh, delete the grand total now i'm getting total if you want to uh, keep it total or what you can do is uh, go to this place go to edit in this case you can see total the four columns are the client da fi pro everything what i'll do select here and uncheck the total so i will not be seeing this total again this information you will not be getting. Every time it is going and drifting the data from the NSE website. Just remember this. In case you are adding some more data here, then it will add and pull the, the data also. Now let us uh, go to the uh, report. It is loading the data. Okay, we got the data. 74 rows. Now let us give a refresh. So from the table it is refreshing. The total is gone. And then this way you can get the FA client data, whatever you want and you can put a slicer also if you put a slicer here what i can do insert slicer for the client type i put a slicer here tell okay if i put fi i'll get only for fi da i'll get da client only for that i'll get number format make it in a neat way so that numbers you can get see without any proper way comma format now i want to, whenever there is a negative then i want to see there's a negative color what you can do select here uh, what you can do here, uh, uh, you're not able to do it. Now, just let me just select here condition highlighting rules less than zero. Okay, now I've got this condition formatting also done. So, this way you can create uh, the data, pull out the data in less than it took less than five minutes maximum. First time after that, you just update this data here, you put the date, and you'll get refreshing the data latest one. Hope you like the video. I thought of uh, because of, for some time I've not given any new learning as such. I just waiting because I'm a little busy on this financial classes and Excel classes. Now I got a little free. Thought I will just give some uh, new thinking for you. Hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe, like the channel so that I can come out with new learnings for you, which can save time and I can give value addition to your trading career also. Thank you.